Hello and welcome back to the Wisconsin Gravel Cyclist. Today we're doing just our final overview of the Trek Checkpoint SL5 2023. Today I'm just going to go over my likes, dislikes, and recommendations for the Trek Checkpoint. First things first, the color for my bike is the Satin Mercury Satin Carbon Smoke color. I, it's kind of a matte finish to the frame. I'm really liking that so far. It cleans up really nice, really easy. You know, we might as well just start with one of the negatives right away. One of the first things that I've noticed is the plugs that come in the holes for the water bottle bosses that I'm pointing out here, they tend to fly out. But I've taken some Tursk blanking screws and threw those in there, and that seems to block those off nice. The ones in the front uh, fork there seem to be a little bit tighter or snugger for some reason, but overall, these Tursk sealing screws do a great job of sealing off those water bottle bosses just fine. Next, I'm going to go over one of what I think is one of the highlights of the Trek Checkpoint SL5. Trek does a great job of integrating this front headset area, this front cockpit. As you can see, those wires get tucked up right nice and under there, so that keeps them nice and out of the way, leaves it nice and clear for a blunder mount like this. Next, tire clearance. Uh, on here is a 40 millimeter tire. In this case, lots of room. You could easily fit up to, I believe it states a 45. In this case, I don't know if I'll try it, but looks like you could even fit up to like a 48 or so. So real nice tire clearance on this bike. There are no issues with that whatsoever. Another bonus, the space in the top tube where you can put all your flat supplies, so your tubes, your uh, you know CO2, all that good stuff fits in there. I have not had an issue with that wiggling or causing any issues with my water bottles at all so far. Overall, I feel this bike is a great blend of speed and comfort, and I would definitely recommend it to any adventure cyclist, any gravel racer, as it is long and has a racy geometry. That is one of the other negatives that I'll be hesitant to say, just because I do like the fit, is that it is long. So your reach uh, may give you some some problems, but if you get a bike fit, you should be able to get it figured out, no problem. Now I will just leave you with a few tidbits. First, the Aeolus Pro 3V gravel wheels. High engagement hub, excellent high durability carbon gravel wheel. Highly recommended for gravel, even single track if you so please. Next, the Pro Duo Blender Stem for your GoPro and GPS. This thing has kept the mounts tight, no wiggle or wobble, no issues with that yet at all. Next is the Pro ISO Core Handlebar. If you're looking for a handlebar on a gravel bike to take out that chatter in the road, give you a nice smooth feel in the front end of your bike, this is the handlebar for you. Highly recommended as an upgrade. Next. Aeolus Elite Saddle. Lots of com uh, comfort, cushion. I use a 155 width, pressure relief channel. Very, very comfortable. Next, just to give you a series of images of what we have going on here yet so far uh, in the gravel season. This is a picture from Wausau Wheelers Ride recently. Uh, this picture here, just showing the bike that we will be riding this year, the Trek Checkpoint SL5 that we've been discussing in this video and a few of the previous others. With that being said, I'm really looking forward to the next few videos here where we'll go on racing adventures, gravel adventures, all throughout central Wisconsin who knows what we're going to find this year? We could find single track. We'll find gravel. We'll find roads that we've never been on before. All of that with, you know, new people, new friends in the cycling community. And that's what we're all about here at the Wisconsin Gravel, gravel Cyclist. Being community and hoping that I can see you around the Wausau, Wisconsin area where I'm from. 
Um, I'm an ambassador for the Trek store in Wausau. So if you're ever in town, stop by and say hello to the team down there. I'm sure they'll help you out. Last but not least, the bike we started the channel with, Blue, she's on the trainer. She still has a spot here in the Wisconsin Gravel Cyclist heart. With that being said, like, subscribe, and let's go for a ride.